Hey, welcome back to the shop. Today at AVC, we're wrapping your C pillar and over the passenger sliding door. Let's get to work. We're going to need our 3M Foam Pass 74. We're gonna need some eighth inch Landau. We'll need our wall choice of fabric here and then scissors or a knife will do to complete the job. First thing, in order to wrap our passenger door opening, we're gonna remove our bulb seal and we're gonna degrease the area. So let's go ahead and remove the bulb seal. We don't wanna take the bulb seal entirely off. We're just gonna drape it on the ground outside the van, leave it there. Be cautious, there's some gray goo here that stays inside that bulb seal. You just don't wanna get that on your clothes, anything. It just stains all sorts of stuff. I have the clothes to prove it. Our next step is going to be degrease the area. So I just have some isopropyl. Degrease, really we can just degrease up to this seam right here, should be adequate. C pillar. Okay, our next step is going to be spray our 74 in place. So we're gonna spray 74 on this section and on this little return right here, being careful not to spray the glue on this section of the, the door jam. We're gonna hit the over door area as well as our C pillar vertical. Cool. It's important to let the glue holding the Landau down off gas properly because the Landau is closed cell, so it's not gonna allow that propellant to escape. Once we move on to the fabric, the fabric is porous, so if there's any excess propellant in the glue, it can escape through the fabric. All right, I sprayed my foam outside the van. Now I'm ready to apply. I'm gonna install my foam right into this inside corner here, and then roll it up over the top of the, the space there. And so with it applied on this lower surface, now we can roll our foam over the top. And we want to make sure we don't cover any of our rib nuts. For starting our C-pillar, we're going to start the land out here at the bottom. And we're going to start it right above where we cut that flooring. We're going to use that as our seam to bridge between our land out and our fabric. So you put that in place, and I like to stretch it tight. I'll set that bottom inch. And I'll stretch my Lando up a little bit into place. All right, so with grabbing our knife, we're gonna match cut where our underlap is right here. So we're just gonna find that line cut between the two as best we can. Wrap towards the inside. Cut that out. We can also use the back of our knife to smooth that land out into the corner. Here where we have some gathering, we're gonna need to make a relief cut. Let's just go ahead and slice that back. Push it. We're also adding a lot of tension to the Landau above. And cut some of that back. Do the same thing on the opposite side. And don't worry, if this looks pretty rough on this side, it's all gonna get covered by a wall kit. So we're not too concerned. Okay, looking good. Now on the inside of this corner, we're gonna trim with our knife. This is why it was important not to glue this edge. Just makes peeling the Landau away easier. So you can see where I did get a little bit over spray. It's tough to get the Landau to pull away from that area cleanly. So the more accurate you are with your glue, the easier the job is. All right, with our Landau in place, we're ready to move on to glue and fabric. So I did mask out a little section right here, just so that I can get a nice straight line with my fabric when I do my overlap, as well as 
save myself a little bit of cleanup from overspray from adhesive. So let's spray it in. This time we're gonna spray all the surfaces and we're gonna spray this area too. A spray shield can help in this situation. Alrighty, so I'm just gonna use a little piece of land out here as my spray shield. All right, you might've noticed I did overspray a little bit onto my floor and this is purposeful. When I wrap my column, I'm gonna actually run my fabric over the top of that joint and put it on top of my flooring. Also, quick note, if you're using a lighter colored wall fabric, it's good to really let this orange 74 dry. Otherwise, that color might bleed through some of your fabric. When I'm starting a fabric to fabric joint, I think it looks best to have a rolled edge. So I'm just gonna pre-spray some of my fabric here on the table. Let it off gas for a second. Then I'm gonna have a nice folded edge here. All right, after spraying our fabric outside the van, I'm ready to start applying. Just like with the Landau, I'm gonna start at my bottom seam. I wanna make sure I have lots to wrap around the pillar here so I don't have a dry spot or a spot without fabric. I'm gonna attach it to this first plane and then I'm gonna stretch vertically into place and make sure I have everything nice and even. Give it some good tension and tack it in place here at the very top. Then we can work our way back down. Just like any wrapping, one plane at a time. Okay, so with that in place, now we can start rolling our edge in. Just make sure we press tight into that corner. Again, we can use the backside of our knife to aid in this. Okay, and we can just trim right to the edge where our bulb seal is gonna attach. Before we apply our fabric over the door section here, I am going to take away my masking tape. Again, I'm gonna start with our most critical spot, which is where our seam starts here. Making sure I have plenty on the bottom side to wrap in. Then, tacked one corner, we're gonna stretch all the way down here and just tack in place. Make sure everything looks good. Yep, that looks pretty good. Happy with that. And then again, just one plane at a time. Being mindful of our rib nuts, making sure we don't bury them. Okay. Again, backside of our knife. And this spot where we're overlapping, we can give ourselves a relief cut. And is everything looking good? Ready to trim. Where we have our overlap, we're just gonna trim these two flush. As our last step, we're gonna just put one of our little trim pieces as a seam cover over the top of this section here. I made this just like we do our seam covers in our window frames video. So if you haven't checked that one out, check that one out. I like to start with a piece of tape about an inch over the top of my area so that I know where to line my seam up to. And I can add a second piece of tape at the bottom so I know where to spray my glue. All right, we're gonna apply our glue. I can take one of these off and leave the other one as a guide. Tuck it nicely into our door jam and we are set. Now that the glue has had a minute to kick and our trim is in place, we can do our final trim. And we're ready to reinstall our bulb seal. All right, installing the bulb seal is pretty simple. We just wanna be mindful that we've now added a little extra thickness for that fabric. We just wanna make sure that the bulb seal goes on nice and smooth and doesn't start rolling the fabric back. So we can just put it on, roll it into place. That's gonna be a tricky point right there. We just got the most thickness. Yeah. 
you might end up with a little excess bulb seal. And a lot of times, you just kind of have to peel it off and shrink it in. So I'm just kind of adding back pressure down the bulb seal to force it on a little bit tighter. There we go. All right, and with that, our job is complete. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button so others can find it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. It helps the channel more than you know. We'll see you on the next video.